My name is David Penn, and my age is 79 years old, and right now I'm retired. Music meant a lot to me because I started into an early age. I was playing piano at the age of 7 to 14. My father was also a musician somewhat. I love music. It meant quite a bit to me. My uncle played trumpet. My dad played piano. I had an uncle that played bass. And, um, but they were all not attached to each other, but that part of the line was on my father's side, they were musicians. I had no inkling that I was going to be playing bongos. Uh, what happened was I was at the age, I was 11 years old, I was just walking down the street, and uh, a man was coming towards me, and he had just maybe they had too much to drink. He had these tangerines and a little drum attached together, and he asked me, he said, how much money do you have? And uh, I said, I have a dollar on me, why? He said, here, I want you to buy this. He took my dollar and gave me these tangerines and the bongo, and I'm standing there looking at them. From that point on, I got so attached that my mother and father realized this young man has stopped going outside, he has stopped just doing any of my attachments, but I got so involved. And my father realized that he saw the rhythm that I had. So that's how I started playing the bongos, just from that little small attachment. I started in a group, I was 15 years old. Back during those days, every other street corner you had groups singing on the corner. That's just the way it was then. At the year, uh, age of 16, while I was still in high school, during the summer we would do a carnival and we were called the Martiniques. That's how I really got started into the uh, music field. That's how I got the field of it. From that point I went into high school, I was a cast. This is where I met uh, Smokey, Smokey Robinson. So we were 16 years old and I was known for my percussion in this school. They knew I played percussion and he had heard, so well, he introduced himself, and we became friends ever since then. So, at that particular time, he was with uh, the founder of Motown, which was Mr. Barry Gordy, we called him Blackie. He was just forming his business, and Smokey needed a, some kind of percussion. People see Motown on West Grand Boulevard, that wasn't the starting point. That's why I'm so glad that I started with the first beginning of Motown. We started on 2nd Boulevard in Baltimore in a four-family flat. All we had was five incidents. That's all we had. My role uh, was to provide that slot, that percussion slot. Songs that you heard from Temps, Danner Ross, any, anyone that you, uh, that you heard of the groups, Motown, I did all these, what you call studio. I did all the bongos. So all the bongos and congos you heard the first three years, that was me. And then I did what you would do is freelance. They would call me in and they'd give me a tape and say, hey, we want you to play on this here. So that was another five years. When we used to travel, we used to travel a lot in the South. What was heartbreaking for me was during that time, the segregation. We went into this one town, the other side of uh, Kentucky. We used to go there when we first came there. We, we first went there, well, I can't think what year it was, but this particular place where we were at, they had the dividing line. You had your, your blacks and your whites. And that was kind of like a setback. It was just a downer, you know. We was trying to be uh, making everybody happy, but we seeing that. But we came back about a year and a half to that same town, and my good point was, of all, everything that you talk about, what was your good time, my good point was when I came back, that line was no longer there. They were dancing and mingling with each other. Everybody was just happy to see that. I mean, we gave a show that was out of sight. And uh, we walked away with that and said, man, that was so nice. You know, it was just, so, just, it was just a good feel. So that was my good point. My competition was what I was doing was, uh, I, was con like the f I was considered the top five percussion in the city. As time went on, that just started to mellow out because I've seen, I noticed I said, well, I'm seeing all these young guys coming in, they're good, and that's gonna become a dime a dozen, which it did. Now, in that process that I stayed with Motown, I formed my own booking agency. When Motown expired, when they moved to Hollywood, I 
proceeded to, to continue with the booking agency. Well, how it, it impacted me today is like saying, hey, it was once a great industry and I was part of it. And that's, that's what I love about it, that I was part of it. That's something that was really great. <laughs>